Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to fix iMessage or FaceTime activation errors. So if you're trying to send messages through iMessage or you're trying to call somebody on FaceTime and you're getting all kinds of activation errors, it's not activating or setting up the iMessage or FaceTime. I'll walk you through some steps that will definitely get your iMessage and FaceTime working again. Now, the very first thing that we'll want to do is just head into settings here. And when you're in settings, you can scroll down towards the bottom and you can see two different options here, messages and FaceTime. And we'll go into both of those and mess with the settings a little bit. So first we'll go into messages here and you can see this second kind of block of options. It says iMessage and it's toggled on. Now, what I want to do is, of course, if taking a step back. If this is toggled off, just toggle it on and then wait for it to activate and that might help you. However, it's already on, then I'm going to toggle that off and then don't toggle it back on. Leave that um, iMessage toggle off. Now let's go back out of here and then go to FaceTime here. And again, you'll see an option to toggle FaceTime off. We'll toggle that off as well. So both iMessage and FaceTime are turned off right now. Now the next thing that we'll want to do is just tap and hold the power and volume up button and then just slide to power off your iPhone. So you'll want to power off your iPhone. This kind of reboots everything and resets everything. Keep in mind both that FaceTime and the iMessage are toggled off still. Now when it, everything's restarted, go back into settings and then go into your FaceTime and toggle it on. It'll take a sec to you know, get everything loaded up again. And then you can go to phone here and, oh, sorry, you can go into messages here and toggle on message, iMessage here. And you can see right under there, it said for a couple of seconds, waiting to activate or waiting for activation. So by going through these steps, you kind of gone through the process to turn off iMessage and FaceTime and then turn off your phone and then turn them back on and they should be activated now. And then you can hop out of here and you can go into your iMessage, you can go into FaceTime, you can call somebody and it should be working at that point. If it's still not working, the last thing that I recommend doing is just to go into your settings here. Let's go back out of here and go up to general and then software update. And potentially your iPhone is just really behind in terms of a software update or the software update will kind of refresh the core files for FaceTime and iMessage and get them working again. So go through those steps and update your iPhone if it's not updated and those previous steps didn't fix it. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.